Hi everyone, I'm back for what is probably, hopefully, going to be part two of the Sound of Light live stream today. Um, I really felt that I wanted to show you all what a light language energy signature is. So this is taking a written light language and uh, turning it into like an art form, kind of a reading form. And if you don't know, I have offered an online course called Set Ablaze. And what it does is it ignites your connection with your own divine language of light, right? You're able to channel that divinity within and all around the wholeness coming through you in so many different forms. There's eight main modules and a bonus module. So over nine modules, you learn all about the language of light. If you want to check out how to learn light language online, click the link in my bio and go to Set Ablaze. Right now, it's uh, got an option where you can do a comfortable contribution because I don't want any barrier to be between people and learning light language. And there's no way to get it wrong, so it's a really fun course, really uh, short modules, I mean doable, they're like 20 minutes each with an expression experience, and it's just my offering to you. I'm revamping it uh, in probably the next six months, but right now, get it while it's hot, it's really good information about light language for the now. So, I want to ask if anybody tuning in right now would be willing to volunteer and get a light language energy signature done live. This is also going to be on replay for people. So basically I'm going to be drawing your energy signature. Um, I'm not going to add any of the colors and details that usually take me about an hour, which is like a personal thing I can do um, But in kairosalana.com. But if you want to do it right now, uh, let me know in the comments and I will do your energy signature. I'm just getting some paper and a pen. Yes! Okay, Rocks Alchemy, it's you. So let me see if I can get a blank page here. We do still have Sweet Baby, he didn't want to take a nap, so we'll see how this goes. Okay, so I've got a blank sheet of paper, and basically um, Rocks Alchemy, what I'm going to be doing is tuning into your energy, uh, now that I have your permission, and I'm going to be channeling your energy signature very quickly. And so it's going to initially come through as usually just one line, sometimes multiple lines, and just know that in um, a greater sense, this is a 3D living, active, like, energy matrix, and I'm just bringing it into some sort of form so that then I can read it. All right, so I'm just tuning in right now. I'm trying to do this where you can see it. Okay, beautiful. It's so wonderful how everyone's is so unique. And so I started here, and where I read energy signatures is where I start. Um, I usually go over them again to make them a little bit more bold. Um, I'll try to do this quickly. Okay, so we kind of got it thickened out there. And if I can here, I'm going to color it in. Um, oh, you've got the blue marker. Thank you, little baby. Would you like this highlighter instead? Okay, so. Looks like the blue got kind of dried out. <laughs> but we'll work with it for today. And even the process of when I'm drawing these and coloring these in, I'm tuning in to any messages that come through, any feelings that I'm feeling in my body, if you ever want to do this for you or anyone else. I'm really excited to share the reading. And so reading light language, I would say, in my experience, it's all very intuitive. So then again, you know, everyone can tap into it. So 
just what is it bringing up, you know. Okay, so there you go. If you want to do a screenshot or something like that. I can also send this to you later, a little bit edited, a little bit more colors. So that is a light language energy signature. This is a, a um, form of reading that came to me. So I can't say that it's anywhere else. Um, yeah, and I've had amazing, amazing positive feedback from it. So I'm going to go ahead and read it for you. Uh, so this is for Rox Alchemy, her energy signature. It, it comes to me at first when I tune in as like a, 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 like a moving energy signature in my mind. And so I saw, you know, energy going down here, here with a very central core. And it's nice that that's how it came out. It always comes out on the page, like I see in my mind, you know, close enough. And look! Yeah, cutie. Mm. Oh, here you go. Here you go. Here you go. That's for you. Okay. So now we're going to see if I can read the signature for you. And again, I start the reading where the energy signature started, and I end it where it ended. So for you, we started right here, and we have a very balanced central line. Now, this is a lot of inner structure and inner balance and inner um, strength. I mean, this is like, you know, planting your feet in the sand, sovereignty, you know, aligned, like, I am who I am. This big I am presence, okay, is coming through in this line. And the fact that it's thin, and then it has a lot of this, like, these thicker lines coming around it, but again, they're very much kind of the same thickness. Now, that might have been because I was going a little quicker, but it all happens how it happens. Um, so this inner line here, though, is saying to me that you have a strength and a balance, a centeredness, that it doesn't matter about the waning and the waxing of life. It doesn't matter um, really about any circumstances. You are unaffected. In your core, of course. There is a place in you that cannot be shaken. And you have taken that place and really made it uh, the central um, focal point of your life. Like this unchangingness. Right? This um, this foundation. It's just it's just a, a beautiful thing to try to put into words. But here, I'm going to hold my little baby so he doesn't feel left out. Come here, cutie. Mommy's doing a reading. So we've got that going on, um, and I also, um, this is reminding me of telekinesis, um, that's coming up for me, this ability to move things with your mind, and, you know, this speaks to, you, like, tapping into an aquifer as well, you're tapped into the aquifer of the cosmos, you're tapped into the aquifer of the universe, of the void of, you know, full creative potential. And, you know, there's just, there's just this, this rock-solid plug-in for you, and you never become unplugged. So remember that, you know, I don't know how centered you feel in yourself, but your energy is so centered and so plugged in and so locked in to the, <laughs> to the universal whole and the universal balance. A lot of balance, a lot of harmony. Um, no matter the different circumstances spinning around you. Hey, cutie. Hey, baby. Can I give you Mama's water bottle? Can I give you Mama's water bottle? And this. And last but not least, maybe this. At a low volume. You want to play the piano? <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay, so we're here. So we got a loop to the left and a loop to the right. And this is really a, an infinity loop. And again, it's kind of at the top of your energy signature. And so I'm going to say that that is your portal um, to this whole cosmic plug-in right here. This infinite portal to the cosmic plug-in. And as we come down here, we, again, we've got this very balanced, kind of harmonious looping. It reminds you of the kundalini energy. And it's actually coming from the heavens, from the cosmos and um, wrapping around the center of your core again and again. And so, you know, this is, this is a balance. And as you come down here, you, you come into a kind of creative center that's, again, rooting. 
So you're coming from like this upper tree, the upper cosmos, um, heaven energy, and you're rooting it down. And so this is a function of your energy of you as an energetic being. And I'm just going to read your comments here. Yes, so, so your, your current life circumstances, it sounds like that you're needing to um, come into the truth of your own energy, and that's going to be so healing for you, because you are, as an energetic being, very plugged in, and just taking time for yourself to be this center, to find that center in yourself, um, it'll all kind of unravel anybody else's energy that's been around you, if you focus like that, like uh, like tight ribbons that have been tied on, like unwrapping a present, focus that, focus on that, and focus as your, yourself as almost like a beam of light, okay, so the cosmic beam, and then the other beam is going to go all the way down into the central sun of our planet, I don't know if you've looked into that, but just imagine uh, a central sun at the core of our planet, and this is where this is happening, okay, this whole thing, it's, you start there, then you go up and you draw from the harmony of the cosmos, from the balance of the eternal um, strength and centeredness. And then you come down here and you've got this loop to the left and a loop to the right. And it's curling back in on yourself. And so to, to work with what energy you're facing right now, I'm glad that it's uh, making sense for you. Picture yourself unwrapping like ribbons on a present, anybody else's energy, and then finding yourself as this core, as this core, right? And just feel that, what it would feel like to be so centered and core. And then I'm going to ask you to call in, okay? And you can picture a portal above your head. We actually have a chakra up here called the Stellar Gateway. And you can imagine energy coming in from the cosmos, pure divine love light energy. And it's your own higher self, and then it's going to wrap you back up like a blanket. Because I see your energy wanting to close out this signature in this reading as like a hug around you, reminding you of the central, centered, um, cosmic portal that you are as a being. Oh, hi, cutie. And, uh, yeah, so that, that takes us, that takes us to the end of your energy signature, and... Little baby's having a little bit of trouble. Of course, he's near his nap time. Um, but I'm, I'm glad that makes sense to you. I'm interested in how your meditation goes. Feel free to DM me about it. Um, so yeah, so that is an example of a light language energy signature. The way that the energy moves and how it interacts with my consciousness and my interpretation can draw from the Akasha, the information that's all around, and literally like filter it into a spoken reading for you, a visual reading for you. And uh, this is just part of it. Um, Again, they, they get pretty uh, they get pretty in depth, about an hour long, uh, total process, maybe an hour and a half with the reading. So thank you for letting me uh, read your energy signature as an example. Yes, I'm glad that you needed this. It can be so hard um, to to think that we are not uh, complete and whole in ourselves, and that we need another. We need to either share our energy or take energy or give energy to be um, to be in the right space. But really, you in your own centeredness and sovereignty is the best. So I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. Thank you all. You're welcome. You're welcome from the bottom of my heart. We love you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Namaste.